you? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, it's a good feeling to know that he wants us up there with him. Yeah. So we ought to prepare ourselves now so that we can join him when he comes back in the clouds. Amen. Now we're going to stand. Not only stand physically, but we're going to stand with Jesus. Behold, 
Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. Therefore the world does not know us, because it did not know him. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not, been, not yet been revealed what we shall be together. But we you know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us now reaffirm our faith by the reciting of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge
chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against power, against the rules of the darkness of the Satan, against spiritual hopes of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with the truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18, Pray always with all prayer and supplications to the Spirit, being watching in the end with perseverance and supplication for all the saints. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and hearing of his Amen. Amen.